This documentary was made possible with the help of our friends over at HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit that makes cooking fun, easy, and affordable. Head over to HelloFresh.com and use code PUBLISHX12 for a generous 12 free meals and free shipping. As you can see, everything comes delivered right to your door weekly in a refrigerated box. With low calorie, carb smart, vegetarian, and pescatarian options, there's meals for everyone. Every meal you'll get comes with fresh ingredients, eliminating the need for long lines in the grocery store. My personal favorite is their veggie plates, and as you can see here, I have an apricot, almond, and chickpea dish. Not only that, but they update their menus weekly, adding new breakfasts, lunches, proteins, and even desserts, so you never have to worry about eating the same thing every day. On average, these only take me between 10 and 20 minutes from unboxing to my dinner plate. And let me tell you, this tastes even better than it looks, and it was fun to make. Just look how good this came out. Not only is HelloFresh a mealtime innovator, their values are also similar to yours and mine. Everything from the box to packaging is totally recyclable, leaving a lot less waste than store-bought groceries. Click the link in the description below and help support the channel. Select the meal plan you'd like to try first and customize your order for your family and portion size. Once you've taken care of that, you can use code PUBLISHX12 for an additional 12 free meals and skip the shipping fees. Thank you HelloFresh for supporting small content creators like myself. And thank you all for watching. Kamitrus was born August 4, 1998 in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Growing up, he was just a regular kid like the most of us. But unlike most artists, music has actually been a part of his life since the start. His biological father, Michael Burton Jr., has been pursuing a career in music since he was born. He rapped under the name Dark Skies, and in general was a huge hip-hop head. And as early as three years old, he was already learning how to put words together and rhyme them in sentences. His dad bought him a boombox from a flea market, and at just four years old, he was already hooking up the microphone to it and rapping his first ever songs. Some of his earliest inspirations came from listening to 50 Cent and Lil Wayne CDs. The more time he and his dad spent together at a young age led to more family and friends referring to him as Little Skies, in reference to his dad's rap name. Just a child, he didn't know how impactful this would be on his life, but even at a young age, he always knew he wanted to become something great. Unfortunately, his parents separated shortly after, which affected Little Sky's relationship with his father for a large part of his childhood. While this is happening, his relationship with his mom would only get stronger, and she would push him to be the best he could be. In the sixth grade, his family would move from Chambersburg to Waynesboro, which was a small town of only about 12,000 people. Although it was a small town, Little Sky's never let it hold him back from seeing a bigger vision. But when he was 11 years old, something that would happen would change the way he looked at his goals. On April 28, 2010, his dad would go to work like any other day. While he was working and performing his normal duties of disposing paint into chemicals, the jacket he was wearing that day would produce a static charge, causing an explosion of fire underneath him. He would be rushed to the hospital and would sit in a coma for nine days while his family could only hope for the best. He would eventually recover and leave the hospital after two months, but he suffered burns all over his body and face. Seeing his father go through this and the thought that he might have lost him in the process brought the two closer once again. Although it was a tragic event, it gave them a chance to reforge their bond, and it made Little Skies realize he wanted to go harder for his family. He immediately took his freestyling ability and started to write and record his first official songs. He released them on a tape titled The Birth of Little Skies Volume 1. By the time he was attending Waynesboro High, he and his dad had already been working on an album they planned to release together. The tape showcases a lot of emotional trauma that Little Skies had gone through in his childhood while his dad was absent, and his dad would rap side by side with him about his perspective. After the project released, he knew for sure this is the path he wanted to take in life. Throughout high school, he would work a few jobs at a Japanese restaurant as well as McDonald's and selling weed to pay for his studio time. He was still trying to find his style and he took a lot of inspiration from Pittsburgh artists like Mac Miller and Wiz Khalifa. They were blowing up at the time. Before this point, his dad's musical style had influenced him more than anyone. But he stated once he realized he needed to speak to his generation his way, he started to evolve. All I wanted was a million. He started uploading music videos to his uncle's YouTube channel, as well as created his own SoundCloud account in 2013. At this point, he and a high school friend, DJ Rello, began throwing small shows locally. He would perform songs off his 2015 mixtape, Good Grades, Bad Habits, and eventually he was becoming known in his small town. 
His music video for his song Lonely gained over 100,000 plays on YouTube, marking a huge step in the right direction. His senior year of high school, he dropped the volume two of Good Grades, Bad Habits, and along with it, the Sauce music video. And once again, it gained a few thousand plays. But as high school began to come to an end in 2016, he was at a crossroad in life, just like many people. His music was finally beginning to get noticed, but at the same time, he still felt like he should continue schooling. He attended Shippensburg University, which surprisingly gave him his first opportunity in music as well. In October of 2016, he was given the opportunity to open up for a Fetty Wap show. At the time, Fetty Wap was one of the biggest artists out, so this was huge exposure for him locally. This is Lil Skies right here at the Fetty Wap show, about to turn up, about to open up for Fetty, let's go. His live performances started to attract more people and his social media followings also began to rise. In early 2017, he dropped his mixtape alone, and it did relatively well for an artist his size. His songs Fake and Don't Love Me stood out showcasing his potential. He continued to look for more ways to gain exposure in promoting his music though. He reached out to the YouTube channel Elevator, which was gaining popularity for its underground uploads. He got a music video for his song Rude uploaded to the channel, and it brought his name in front of a whole new audience of people. His melodic flows and well put together lyrics were setting him apart from other up and coming rappers, and he started to stand out. One day Skies happened to be watching one of his favorite YouTube channels at the time, Cuff Boys. To his surprise, they were playing one of his songs in their vlog, which he was extremely excited about. He DM'd one of the Cuffboy affiliates, Landon Cube Online, and the two quickly hit it off. Landon Cube had been working on music himself, and their new friendship gave them the perfect opportunity to work together. On June 26, 2017, they released their first track together, Red Roses. With the help of their following and the Cuffboy's reaction videos online, the song would catch the attention of Cole Bennett from Lyrical Lemonade. With Cole's production being at its peak, the song exploded into mainstream, and well over 100 million views and gaining cosigns from other mainstream artists. This all happened fast, and to many people who didn't know about him, it looked like an overnight success. This brought in millions of new fans, but also a lot of people who may have doubted his ability to produce another big song. With the success of Dark Rose, it was only right Cole Bennett and Skies teamed up again. And in December of 2017, they released Nowadays featuring Landing Cube. The song would do almost twice as good as Red Roses, and by this time it was hard for even the doubters to ignore his potential. With all this potential behind him, he released his debut mixtape, Life of a Dark Rose, in January of 2018. The tape hosted a number of hit songs like Welcome to the Rodeo and Lust. It peaked at number 10 on the Billboard, making him one of the most talked about artists at the time. He even declined a spot on the 2018 XXL freshman list. He did this because he believed it wasn't right that fans weren't the one voting him in. By November, his mixtape would go gold, and he was already working on a debut album. He decided to name his album Shelby after his mother, who he considered to be one of his biggest supporters in life, and it was a way of honoring her and everything she had done for him. It dropped March 1st, 2019, and despite having a pretty large gap between the album and his Life of a Dark Rose mixtape, it did very well. The album showcased a lot of the dark times he had gone through that fans had helped him out of. This in turn would help his fans feel more connected to him, which is one of the reasons why he's been able to stay relevant over all these years, despite not dropping music as often as other artists. Since then, he's gone on to release his latest album, Unbothered, in 2021. And even though it didn't do as well as his previous projects, numbers-wise, it proved he's here for the long run. Despite dealing with his own personal demons that he's been public with for years, Lil Skies remains a staple in the new generation of music. His story only further proves that anything is possible if you work toward it.